everybody, and welcome to episode 168 of the Let's Play World. Last episode, we got a lot of things organized on our wall of tasks. We got a bunch of things lined up here, a bunch of projects we're going to work on, and we also introduced the decorator, who got a big start on our formal gardens. You can see it looks really, really nice down there. Today we're going to do a few things. One is I want to get started on another section of our formal garden. I also want to tackle a couple of projects that have been on the wall of tasks for quite a while. The decorator did a really great job on this area down here, and it just looks so much more finished. There's plants, there's flowers, there's trees. Looks really great. The next section I want to tackle is this one right down here. Now what's different over here is we've got a couple of pillars and we've got quite an elevation change. So there's this kind of drop off right here that's going to inform a little bit of what we do. But there is this nice big flat area here and I think I want to utilize that big flat area for a fountain. I think that looks all right. I finagled with this a little bit. I ended up putting a single water source here and got it to flow over some glow lichen and between some glass panes. And I think it looks pretty nice the way that it's kind of trickling down. Kind of mixed up the materials here on the bottom of the fountain and added a little bit of wear to the edge just so it looked a little bit more interesting than just bricks. So that is a nice addition to our garden. And then as far as landscaping, I think I'll let the decorator take care of that.
folks, it's me, the decorator. This place is looking real great if I don't say so myself. This fountain is fantastic and everything else is looking really, really nice. If you're doing a garden, one question you gotta ask yourself is do you want all the different parts of your garden to look the same? And the answer is yes and no. So you can see here, we did the white flower similar to the way we did over on that entryway. And that way we get that nice consistency between the different parts of the garden. But in this part of the garden, we did pink flowers, lots and lots of pink flowers. Where over there, we did a lot of white and red. So that gives it its own character, but we get that symmetry of different designs and different things reflected across the place. You can see here, we got those dark oak trees just like we do over there. We got the bushes just like we do over there. And that makes everything look real deliberate, real intentional. Now this part of the garden already had some built-in decoration. So for example, we already had this gazebo and we've got these nice stairs that go from the top of the hill down to the bottom of the hill. And over around the corner here, we've got this very interesting little tunnel that we get to walk through to go back up the other side of the hill. So that made this part of the garden kind of have its own personality. But we did reflect a lot of the same design elements. We did a little bit of different things here. You can see we've got a dark oak tree here and here on the inside of the garden. Again, just to kind of balance things out. Because we got this nice big hill and these really interesting spaces, we took advantage of that. But like I've said before, you don't ever really have to be done. You can try things out, add stuff, tear stuff back out. Really experiment with it and make it your own. That's all I've got for you today. Happy decorating. Well, it looks like the decorator did more great work. If we take a look here up on the map, we just worked on this side here. So if we update that and here, nice. Look how much more green that is with that nice big fountain in the center. Looking really, really great. I think the next thing I want to do in the garden area is maybe this space here in between these two formal gardens. I kind of marked out the center of where I want to do some work over there and I have a little bit of an idea. But today I want to prepare for our next big build. And there's something that's been up here on the wall of tasks for a long time and that is the floating builds. The floating island and the floating castle atop a beanstalk. Those are the next things I want to work on. So what I want to do today is grab a bunch of materials and then head over to where we're going to do that building. And that build is going to happen out on these islands, I think just right out here. One of these islands is going to use a ton of stone and dirt. And the castle, I think I'm going to need a bunch of green wool specifically for the beanstalk. In the castle, we might do in cherry wood. Let's go ahead and head up north and find those islands where we're gonna build our floating builds. Here we go. We've got this island over here with this nice flat top. We've got this one here with a little bit of a jungly thing going on. And then this sort of pointy and craggy sort of island over here. This one's real strange looking on the back. It's like missing a lot of the island on the back here. I think the big flat one is where I'm going to do the beanstalk and the castle. And then the other two, we might do floating islands above them. That would be kind of a cool look. And it would kind of create a theme for this little area where we have loading things going on. Between episodes, I'm going to do a little bit of research, see if I can come up with some good designs for a beanstalk and a castle. I'll probably look at some pictures of beanstalks and some illustrations, that sort of thing. And the next episode, we'll get this project done. Running a little short on time this week, so that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.